Welcome in guys, I have a little bit of news to you today about the iMac, yes it is going to be updated after two years and completely missing out on the M2 and the M1 Ultra chips. We're expecting it to have an M3 chip which I'm quite excited to hear about myself and not only that but it's actually going to be the first in the whole Mac lineup to be getting it as well. Apparently you can't really be expecting much from the externals as it's pretty much going to look exactly the same as the previous version which was released in 2021. We're going to still have them same colourways, green, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow and silver. They're all going to still be present with the accessories still finished in the same colour and all that kind of jazz as well. It's actually in the development stage right now, which is quite far on to the development, I believe. And most of this is working on the internal parts. The slight changes, obviously, with a new chip, there's going to be a slightly different in infrastructure on the inside. There's two models out there. Um, now, supposedly, it's J433 and J434. A couple of people are saying that this might be a Pro Mac Pro and an iMac. I don't think it's actually going to be that. If you look back at the 2021 version, we had two slightly different setups there. We had a seven core GPU, um, and which had two Thunderbolt ports on the back, and then eight core GPU with two Thunderbolt ports and two USB-C. I think that's a similar setup to what we're going to be having this time around, and then model numbers are relating to the Macs in that way. So no Mac Pro, sorry. If you look at Apple's ecosystem in a minute and how it's all set out, you've kind of got multiple levels of entry with your base station and your monitor. And I think that's what they're doing instead of doing like an out of the box computer that most power users, it wouldn't be spec'd out for them how they wanted it to be. Some, some power users might be okay with a Mac Studio um, and a studio display where other users might need that little bit of extra power and they're going to go to the, the Pro Display and the Mac Pro. So there's a new manufacturing process going into the stand. Now it could mean two different things. They might have a stand that's kind of very kind of similar to what's going on with some of the displays and that that they've got, which you can swap out. They might actually have it where you don't have to opt in straight away and decide whether you want a vase amount or a desk stand you might be able to swap it out and change later both of them options actually i think when you're talking about the kind of money that we're spending here um are pretty basic hopefully bluetooth 5.3 and wi-fi 6e will both be in there as well so we're looking at a quarter three release and maybe an unveiling at wdc this year ww sorry wwdc i always miss out Thank you very much guys, please like and subscribe to this video and I'll see you in the next one.